what I've done, I've taken a 2000 watt, 4000 watt peak inverter. I added a custom charge controller to that goes to a battery. The battery in turns powers the inverter, the output of the inverter goes through the wires into this power strip to the various devices that I have hooked up including this camcorder. What I'm running is a 750 watt microwave, a lamp with a 27 watt bulb, and a fan plus the camcorder to illustrate what can be done with emergency power unit. The reason why I chose a microwave, a microwave is pretty efficient capable of heating water and food and it's also very small. Also I have in the microwave now one liter of water being heated as we speak. The fan, roughly 100 to 120 watts, it just uh, to consume a little power and it's just showing that I have 110 volts coming out of the inverter. So this is my way of giving back on how to um, create devices for making life a little more uh, bearable. One thing I am going to do is on my website I created a page called Outside the Broken Box. And this page I am going to use to uh, show folks how to build devices and also survival techniques. And the initial power for, from this unit is coming from on top of this case this solar panel. This solar panel I made it's also on firstontop.com is a 60 watt solar panel. The 60 watt solar panel is in turn connected to the charge controller, this gray box, which is a custom charge controller that takes the power from the sun and it converts it to where the battery can handle it. In other words, the battery gets up to 14.2 volts. It goes, if I can get a photo of it, to the battery. From the battery is connected to the negative terminal, positive terminal, of our inverter. Like I said, we need heavy cables for this. Uh, a good source for cable is to get uh, cables used for starting cars, starter cables. Those will work great for that. Actually, I have a set that's messed up, but to get this video done, this is what I use, but it's it will work to get this video done. I know the wires are probably warm, but it is working. The end result, I was cruising the net, and, uh, and I've seen systems quite similar to this for over two thousand dollars for shipping and handling. I said, wow, there's got to be a better method of showing how to do this. An example, the charge controller is roughly hundred and forty nine dollars and on discount you can get them as low as hundred and twenty nine, hundred and nineteen, sometimes ninety nine dollars. The battery, hundred amp hour battery, wait a minute, let's see if I can, hundred amp hour battery you can get those for roughly a hundred dollars. Now this is a custom made charge controller but you can get charge controllers anywhere from fifty nine to roughly a hundred dollars. So let's assume we paid a hundred dollars for a good charge controller. hundred dollars for a battery. A hundred and fifty for the inverter. That's only three hundred and fifty dollars and you can build your own case out of wood. I know the battery should be in a battery box but it's in my boat right now and I didn't pull it out, but it should be in a battery box. Those are like twenty dollars or so. And that base, and if you get heavy gauge wiring, you can get uh, jumper cables for roughly twenty dollars. So roughly four hundred bucks, four hundred fifty bucks max, you should be able to build this system. And other things I'm gonna start doing on first on top, uh, thinking outside the box, is to show how to make weapons or devices for trapping, catching food, shelters. It all depends on how my mind feels. But the first stage in the urban thing was to establish power. As, as time goes on, I will get better and better at uh, doing videos. But the main concept here is showing you how this thing works. And if you want more detail, go to my website firstontop.com and you'll get more details on how the things actually put together. And everyone have a good day and enjoy.